guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a phenomenal day today. So today I'm excited because we are doing a lovely Sephora play, which I wish they put play on the side of the box, versus Itsy, which is always identified by a top pink bag. So yeah, very, very excited. This is the only time where we do a battle of the boxes because Birch just isn't on the same level as these two, and I can't wait for him to leave our lives. So let's start off with Ipsy because, I don't know, I want to start off with Ipsy. So first off, it comes in a cute little bag. If you're not familiar with either of these services, they're both $10 a month, and Ipsy gives you a variety of different brands. Same with Sephora, it's just all the ones that are in the Sephora Play Box are from Sephora, so they're very easy to find. Um, but these you have no idea where. Um, and Ipsy always comes in a cute little bag, and so does Sephora, except Sephora's a little drawstring bag, while Ipsy's more of a makeup bag. So this Ipsy bag is actually bigger than a lot of the other Ipsy bags we've done in the past. It's got this weird pattern on it. Uh, not exactly like a honeycomb, but it kind of hurts my eyes to look at. I kind of prefer this side better than that side. Um, but still, I like that it's bigger than a lot of the other Ipsy bags. Because the other bags, unfortunately, just would not hold my makeup because I have way too much. Um, but let's get straight into it. So I'm going to move my notes over so I can actually see them because I have them sitting off in the distance. Um, so Ipsy never does a theme, though. Inside of the actual thing, they always put a card. But this month's card was a little different because it says, you are beautiful, pass it on. So let me see. Focus for me, canvas. There we go. Um, and then on the other side it just says, share this card with someone who could use a little. So, interesting. I thought that was cute, but also it's a little strange that they're like, we want more Ipsy on the back. And I'm like, um, it's very odd. I think it would have been just cute if they had just like left like the little pass it on with someone. I don't know. I think it's a cute concept though. That was adorable. But on to the products because that's what everyone cares about. So Ipsy does it a little different. They Everyone kind of gets their own like kind of catered bag. Sephora has just recently started doing different varieties of the bag. But there's still only, I think I only saw three, maybe four different varieties. I had them screenshot on my phone because I was like, why did someone else get this? Um, but let's get straight into it. So the first thing we are going to talk about is actually a brush. Which I will never say no to a brush. I love a brush. Um, but this is from the company Boo Gashi Gashis Cosmet. I have no idea, guys. Hey, let me give you a little, little close up of his brand name. Don't know why you're seeing that. Um, have no idea, but it is a tapered blending brush, which you can actually buy because sometimes they send you brushes that are only found in kits, but this one you can actually get. I mean, look at that cute little like edge, like edge the brush. Um, but it's a nice David bending brush print for eyes. Um, but he's worth $12 and I'm very excited to try him because he looks very similar to the Urban Decay um, blending brush that's found in the Smoky palette. That's what he looks like. Moving on. So yes, I'm very excited about him. Um, so the next brand is called Dol Do 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 I don't know. I have no idea. When I literally looked at this, I thought this was a J. It's a D. Whatever. Um, but this is a Freematic eyeshadow. I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, but it is a .05 ounce. That is what the full size pans. They sell this a little strange. So when you buy them, you can only buy, it's $35 and you have to buy four of them. Which I thought was a little strange. So that makes each one of the eyeshadows worth $8.75. But let me show you guys him. I'm actually excited about him. He's really pretty. I can't get him out of the box right now. But mine came in the shade, this what, 67 Marissa? It's a shimmer shade. Come on, camera, focus. There you go. I think he keeps catching the glare from my lighting. You lady, you don't want to come out of the box. There you are. Literally does not want to. I'm trying to be careful, if you guys haven't noticed, I have my phalanges done, so he literally is like, you know, I've had him out of the box several times. So yeah, so this is what he looks like. He's got some magnets on the back so you can put them in the Z palette, which is good because, no joke, I would probably ditch this little plastic piece because it slides off like that. Um, it's a little strange. But it's a very pretty shade. I do love the eyeshadow color. Let me give him a little swatch. It feels like butter. I'm going to grab a little bit more because I like, instead of like doing a straight swatch, I started smearing it all over my hand. 
But that's what it looks like. He's really pretty and shimmery. Um, and I'm glad I have my makeup wipes in front of me. My handy dandy a Christmas ultimate makeup wipes that I got during the Christmas season. Because they were a dollar and they're perfect to take off swatches that I no longer want on my hands. Um, but yeah, I really like that. Hands down, really good. But yeah, $8.75. Still think their logo is weird because no joke. Doesn't that look more like a J than a D? You can't see it on this packaging, bro. Um, I think their packaging looks more like a J than a D. Moving on. So the next thing in here is from a brand called Mitt Pear, which I had to make sure was the actual name of the brand and not like the name of the product. Um, but this is a collagen serum and it is a 0.27 ounce worth $26.40. That's disgusting, isn't it? That's crazy. This is over the back and like, yeah, that's weird. There he is. Um, I'm very excited to try him, mostly because I'm just like, how the fudge are you $26? But this little guy is pretty expensive, so gonna, gonna look forward to using that later. Um, next thing in here is from Model Co, and this is their Eye Define Cream Liner, and it is in the shade Block. So this one was fun research. Some of these, I love the Sephora one because it doesn't take nearly as long. I literally set myself, I just reminded myself, because I just did the research for Sephora. I set a timer to see how long it takes me to research, and I forgot it, so he was still going. Uh, but Sephora doesn't take very long to research. The other brands, sometimes I have to contact the company because their full size isn't, like, they don't put the ounces. Unlike Sephora, if you go on Sephora's website or Ulta's website, they always have in the description below the ounces and the weight of their products, but not all brands do that. So this is one of those, uh, it looks like it would be a full size eyeliner. Not gonna die. But when I was looking at it, in the picture they showed the other end has a pull out smudge brush. And I was like, this one doesn't, or it was a sharpener. No, no, don't care. It had a different packaging. So I was like, this cannot be the full size. So it took me a while. Finally figured out. So this is a 0.01 ounce, and his sister size is a 0.04 ounce. That is a big difference. Big difference, big difference in value. Um, so that makes him only worth $3.50. But yeah. That's why I'm glad I get Birchbox and Ipsy early. In fact, all the Sephora Play, I think, was actually the last one that I got. No, BoxyCharm was. But BoxyCharm does most of my research. Moving on. So the last product that was inside my Ipsy bag, which my sister swears we already own the shade. I think we actually don't. I think we own a shade that is very similar. Um, but this is the Tarte um, Quick, Dr Quick Matte... Oh, Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint. But this is in the shade Delish. She just swears me on this one. I think it's a slightly different variation on the shade. But it's a really pretty, oh my gosh, it's so much product. It's going to be a pain to get off my hand. Um, that's what it looks like. He's like a mauve kind of rosy color. Mauve is rose. Um, but he is a .034 ounce and he is worth $3.40. I really like the Tarte Lip Paints. They're really nice. And I'm going to use my makeup wipe that I left over here to quickly get them off so he hopefully doesn't stain my hand. Does anyone else have that problem when they're swatching and accidentally stains you because you're so freakishly pale? Just vampire me? Got it. Um, but yeah, overall, I really liked the Ipsy bag, but his full value was $54.05. Reminder, he's a $10 subscription service. The value I am getting out of him because this is no joke, I'm not really interested in the um what you doodle the eyeliner I'm like what is this thing so I'm getting fifty dollars and fifty five cents out of him so Ipsy honestly is the oh my gosh I'm literally going to get that all over me I'm gonna leave you out actually no where's your casing don't know I'm leaving you out for right now um Ipsy's very consistent they're always around the fifty dollar range I don't think I've ever gotten an Ipsy bag under fifty dollars um but I love to show you guys a comparison of this month to last month so last month's Ipsy bag was um, also, I forgot to mention, this was an 81% savings on makeup. Um, but last month's Ipsy bag was $55.15. This month um, was $54.05. So, not very different there. It's literally a difference of 81% savings this month, 82% savings last month. Not very much. Love the consistency in Ipsy. I also love that you can literally put in, because they ask your opinion on the product, so you put what you liked, what you didn't like, so they can kind of customize, make sure that you're getting what you like. Like, if you don't want eyeliners anymore, they'll stop sending you eyeliners. Um, moving on, so let's talk Sephora Play, because I have a lot to say about him this month. 
besides his packaging, Sephora, get on like putting play on the side because they literally only put it on the side that has your dress. And then like the weird catty cornered side of the box. I hate it. Um, so moving into the box. So Sephora always has a kind of theme for their box. So this month was the Glow Your Own Way. The other thing I like about the Sephora play boxes is inside they'll have this lovely little had them upside down. Um, but it's basically like a little pamphlet of like what is in your box, talks to you about the products, and all that jazz, how to use them, trends, and all that loveliness. But my favorite part is this lovely little card, which is ingenious of Sephora because no joke, every single month now I am in Sephora and before I literally shopped there during the Christmas season when I have lots of good deals. Um, but if you buy something in Sephora, you can use this card and get 50 free points. If you don't know how the reward system Sephora works, a point is a dollar. So you have to spend a dollar to get a point. So this is like spending $50 and not spending $50. Um, so yeah, I really like that. And they also like expire the month after. So like my March one won't expire until the end of April. Uh, but moving on. So yes, the uh, theme of this month was Glow Your Own Way. So they always put in like these cute little drawstring bags. They're changing up. They used to be like always like a black and white look here. But now they've got like a little mint ribbon. Don't know how well that mint is coming up on camera though. Um, but let's move into what's actually inside the bag. So the first thing in here is from Benefit Cosmetics. And this is their What's Up um, Cream to Powder Highlighter. Which I'm familiar with. I really like this stuff. So I'm kind of glad it came in this box. So this is what he looks like. He's just this cute little itty bitty tube. Um, but he's a .08 ounce. He's worth $7.25. But he's so pretty. I'm gonna just watch him so you guys can hopefully see this lovely glow. It has a warmth to it, like do do do. Don't know how well that's coming up. I think my camera light. I gotta move the lighting so it's not as bright when I'm trying to swatch things. Um, but yes, really, really like him. Where's my makeup wipes? So I'm gonna take him off because otherwise he'll be all over me. I'm the toys for getting into my hair. If you follow me on Instagram, I literally have. A face mask like my hair get caught in it. It was great. Um, next thing in here is from Glam Glow. Where are you? You're at the bottom of the bag. He doesn't want to come out. He doesn't want to join the party. He's like, no, don't talk about me. Literally taking everything. He got caught in another product. Um, so this is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in Nude Glow. So it is a .24 ounce and he's worth $6.91. I swear I have a couple of sample sizes of this already but not like a tube. I think they were in like a little packet. I can't get him open. He literally won't open. Cool. Do you see this? Do you see this not opening? Nope. Not gonna try. I'm gonna done with him. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try that. Just be like this glowing moisturizer. We'll see how that works. Really don't understand when people that want to do like the entire glow all over the face and then they cover with their foundations. Matte foundation, over luminous. I don't understand it. Um, next thing in here, I'm very excited to try because I love this brand. Mostly because they take care of my hair. Um, this is from Josie Marin. Super cute. Oh, all you're going to see is glare. Great. Love that because it's a lovely, like, metal packaging. Um, but this is their... What the fudge? That's not your name. Um, this is their Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm, which I literally was like, what is a finishing balm? I kind of read on the packet that they sent because I was like, what's a finishing balm? I don't understand this. So they say to use it, so it's either the first or last step, so whenever the fudge you feel like, of your makeup routine, press into the skin with gentle patting motions with your fingers or a sponge. We love how it looks, tap into the cheekbones, or use for an all over glow. So it sounds very similar to the Glam Glow, that's supposed to be like a glowing, like moisturizing product, but I said they really like the glow it gives the skin. I already opened him some because I kind of wanted to like feel him because I thought he was going to be a hand cream or like a lotion or something, like a lot of. Josie Marion's products, but when I put him onto my skin and they're like, you know, a glow. Yes, yeah, a glow. No. Because there is none. I really don't get it. It feels really nice. It's a very thick, hydrating product that smells like nothing. Um, so I'm going to use him as a hand cream. Um, but he is 8.1 ounce. He's worth $7.20. And I think he feels bomb. I'm most probably going to use him around my necklace, which always could use some lovely hydration. 
know how they think this is glowing. There's literally nothing. No glow. No glaze donut look. Um, next thing in here is from Verb, which I've never tried. At first when I saw this, I was excited to try it. And then I actually looked on the ingredients because I read the back of it. So this is the Verb Ghost Oil. So right underneath where it says Ghost Oil. Let me see if you guys can see that. Right there. It says Argan in Moringa. Which, if you're not familiar with Moringa, it's a plant. Um, it's one of those really oddball ingredients that I'm allergic to. It normally makes my skin flare up and create red rashes. It is not a fun experience. I've never met anyone else that's allergic to it. So I'm kind of terrified to use this. I've had it before put on my hair without my knowledge and it didn't bother me, I guess because it mostly threw out to my hair. So when it did touch my skin, because obviously my hair touches my skin, it's so, so long. Um... So it didn't bother me, so I might try him with, like, gloves on, and I might actually probably the first thing I'll do is experiment with, like, putting him on the inside of my wrist, because it's the most sensitive part of, like, your skin besides your face, um, to see if my skin reacts. Maybe it's just, like, a old thing. I literally haven't used my ring in years. So, I don't know. I'm a little scared about him, but I'm still willing to give him a go. Um, but he is a .57 ounce. He's worth $3.99. His full size is actually only worth $14. I'm trying to understand, like, what is it really supposed to be for? It's supposed to, like, be very restorative for your ends and revitalize your hair, which I was kind of really excited about because my hair could always use some love because I put so much heat on him. I feel like this is getting really, really long. But these battle boxes always are. Um, next thing in here is from Urban Decay. Why did I say it like that? Don't know. This is their eyeshadow primer potion, which no joke, if you guys knew it was in my actual makeup bag, I've talked about it before, this is one of those products that lives in there. He's what I use all the time for my eyeshadow um, primer. If you ever want an eyeshadow primer that doesn't move anything, this is the guy. Literally, I can't use him when I do swatches for you guys because I always, when I do the swatches on camera to show you guys typically, I always put the primer on does not want to come off. After doing like 20 eyeshadows, doesn't want to come off. Um, but yeah, that's what he looks like. I love the packaging, they talk about him a little bit inside of him, which is kind of cool if you're unfamiliar with it, or not. Um, but he is a .06 ounce. He's worth only $3.64. Will he get used? Yes. But am I excited that he was in this box? Not really. I'm actually going to toss him down there. Um, the absolute last thing, so Sephora always has five products, like Ipsy, but they also include a perfume. So, the perfume they put in here is from, oh, I'm going to butcher it. It's, uh, Atina? Uh, my sister's looking at me like, no, you can't speak French. What is it? Atelier. Atelier! I don't speak French, but my sister does. Um, so it's from Atelier. The only thing I really like about this brand's perfume is every time you get a sample, they always put a postcard in there. I don't know why they put a postcard in there. It's just it's their thing. They always have like a theme on like where they come from. It's really cute. I'm thinking about literally sending these to my brother and just being like, here you go. My brother does not live in the States. He's right now, he's in Japan. The card smells like the perfume, which, or at least that's what I'm imagining the perfume smells like. I actually haven't touched him yet. Um, but this little perfume is actually a .06 ounce, which is a lot bigger than what they normally put in perfumes. I was really shocked. Um, but he's worth a dollar and 75 cents. I just lost the cap to the floor, so I'm going to very carefully put it on my table. He smells really good. He's very citrusy, which I guess would make sense because on the card they have orange stone. I'm trying to figure out where his little cappy fell. Oh, found him. Literally sitting by my feet. Gonna recap you, hopefully not spilling you all over my notes because that would be terrible. I'm now wearing the perfume because it got on my fingertips. But I really like it. It's nice and bright and citrusy. Definitely something I want to wear in springtime. I guess I, that makes sense with their, like, glowy trend that's going on right now. But, yeah, worth $1.75. So, the total value of this, if you were keeping track with me, probably not, because I wouldn't. Uh, but it was $30.76. Remember, this is only a $10 a month subscription service. So, that does give you a 67% savings on beauty products. I don't know what it is with Sephora lately. Last month's box was $33.03, which was a 70% savings. They're normally on par with like Ipsy and being like the $50 range, $60 range. But the last couple months, they've been dipping back down to the 30s and I'm like, 
Sephora, come on, don't play with this. Um, I do know Sephora is toying with the idea, and you might have seen it on Instagram, if you are on Instagram as much as I am, um, but they were asking opinions on another version of the play, so a little bit more luxurious play box, instead of it being $10, it'd be $15, but it would include like a nicer bag, it would include higher end brands so like the prestige of the prestige brands that Sephora offers which is pretty cool I was looking at my sister brown she's like um uh, most people would go like either or and I'm like except people like us that would get both hashtag our problem um also I normally mention like how much I'm getting out of it so I wasn't really interested in the Urban Decay and I really could care less about the perfume because no joke if you guys saw how much perfume I own it's disgusting so the value I'm getting out of it is $25.37 I really hope this verb works out for me otherwise it's kind of ridiculous um, but that is it for this video I'm so sorry for how long it is I know it's kind of ridiculous but if you did enjoy it make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to follow me on social media there will be a link down below if you want to get notifications I do post every single day but if you want to get them still just make sure you hit that weird little bell so it can tell you hey, there's a new video because I don't have no more time to post them up. Just days. Um, stay boxy, guys.